Hey everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we are going to be looking at two incredibly manky Nintendo DSIs and hopefully repairing them. So I'm currently working my way through the uh, DS range. Um, I've done most of the original ones up until kind of around the, the first 3DS. So uh, I'm making my way all the way through all the DSs. That was one of the things I said I wanted to do. Um, so now it's time to have a look at the DSIs. I got both of these online. Um, I think I paid about 20 pounds. Here's the listing. Um, one of them just said that it didn't work at all. And then the other one said that the top screen was smashed. Um, I've left it on charge. Um, for a couple minutes because that was probably one of the issues uh, the last time I looked and uh, yeah so here's the DS's they really look like they've been um, well well loved to say the least um, you know they've got chips around the casing this one's actually had a screen protector on which is um, pretty good there's a lot of um, grime and dirt in all of the kind of crevices of the uh, the DS so it's really really quite manky um, so I think the white one will actually clean up okay although it looks absolutely disgusting um, all of these are um, stickers and underneath the stickers is a nice uh, white shell so uh, we should be able to clean the white one up quite nicely. So the red one when you turn it on um, has the top screen smashed uh, but the touch screen seems to work okay which is good. It's a little bit dirty, I kind of feel a little bit hesitant to be touching this but it seems to work absolutely fine. For some reason the person has put all their icons over here which is uh, interesting. Um, so the red one works okay, and then the white one, I believe, doesn't seem to respond at all. Um, so that's not ideal. So what I think we're going to do is transfer the battery from the red one into the white one and, uh, and see what we get. Um, so here we go, swap the, uh, the batteries over. You can actually see on the inside here that the water meter has not been tricked, which is a good sign. Let's go ahead and try and turn that on again. And we're not getting anything. Okay, so the next step then to do, I'm not really too worried about this not working, but I think what I want to do is take both of them apart and um, put the motherboard um, from this one into, into here so that we've got the top screen and we can see what's actually going on uh, with the top screen in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take apart the red one and then um, I'll take apart the white one off camera because it's just going to be a repeat. I thought I'd do this video slightly differently and do a voiceover during the parts where I'm disassembling the DSi. There's about six screws on the back, two of which are hidden underneath the rubber feet and uh, one of them is just underneath the uh, game cartridge slot so you just need to look out for those. You need to be really really careful when uh, taking these screws out and keep them separate. The two that are under the rubber feet are actually completely different. Once you've got the back open, be careful because there's a ribbon cable attached to the board uh, which allows the battery uh, to connect, so you need to be careful not to just yank that off. And then there's a few screws on the left hand side and then multiple screws on the board on the right hand side. So be really, really careful when you're taking all of these off to keep them all separate. And they're also really, really small and fragile and you are screwing into plastic, so you need to be uh, careful with this. This is probably one of the hardest consoles that I've actually taken apart. There is so many ribbon cables and they're all in really, really awkward angles and positions. So it's really difficult to get them all off. I'd recommend getting a really, really sharp pair of tweezers and very, very gently lifting up the little plastic bales um, and uh, yeah, removing the ribbon cables. Okay, I've swapped the boards from the red one into the white one and now we're going to plug the, uh, the battery in. I just had to connect that uh, ribbon cable there on the bottom. And okay, let's slide this on. Hopefully uh, it will just slot on, there we go, okay. Red and white DS, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, now we need to remember which one is the working battery. 
Oh, that's that's not happy. That is not happy at all. Okay, it's not that one. That is not the working battery. Or it is the working battery and the whole DS doesn't work. In which case, we have a problem. Oh! Uh, it turned on and then popped off. So essentially, uh, I can't actually get any of these um, DS's to work yet. Um, I have found this black DS, which I've had for a little while, um, but it doesn't seem to turn on. I remember this having a huge problem um, with freezing and stuff. So potentially, um, we could use some of the components from this. Um, I think, I have a theory that both of the uh, screens on this are damaged. Uh, the top one on the white, on the on the red um, DS is obviously smashed, and then the top one on the white one, I think the ribbon cable is broken somewhere. Um, but I don't remember this one having a broken screen. It just doesn't turn on at all. So what I'm going to do with this black DS is actually put the uh, working motherboard um, from the red one into uh, this and see if that will get it going again. Um, because obviously it wasn't showing any signs of life at all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, undo this one. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that took a very, very long time. Um, unfortunately, I didn't end up using any of the, um, the shells from uh, the eBay listing that I had bought, um, and I ended up having to pretty much just use this, uh, this black one. Uh, as you can see around me, I ended up taking everything apart, and it took um, such a long time, um, and in, by the time that I finally got it all apart, I kind of realized maybe I should have just tested um, this black one um, using the motherboard from the, uh, the red one. The motherboard from the red one seemed to work absolutely fine um, and therefore I now have myself a working DSi and it's also solved the problem of this one freezing which is what it used to do. Um, so now I have myself a nice working DSi. So I can actually take out the, uh, the game from the uh, DS that we refurbished in the last video and uh, pop that into the top. I don't believe on the DSi you have to turn the, the um, system off. Okay, maybe you do. Okay, and just like that, we are now playing a game. The game works absolutely flawlessly. Uh, the sound is fantastic. The screen looks great. The buttons are responsive. And uh, yeah, all in all, I'm super happy with how this has turned out, for goodness sake. I never claim to be good at playing games. Uh, let's try that one more time. Yeah, super happy with how this has turned out. The DSi, as I said, is probably one of my favorite um, DSs. It just feels great. Brilliant. And on that note, we'll end it there. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. It's been a little bit um, of a a bit of a mess. I'm going to leave this to charge and give it a little play in a little bit. I need to find the, uh, the black battery cover for this, um, but I will do. And as for all of these parts, um, they'll probably just be recycled um, over the course of the, uh, the next few years and stuff. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.